before we start the episode off, I'd just like to go over some plants that, I mean, everything in the shop that I was going to go over last time but didn't get to. Right here we have winter melons, which you plant on your melon pulps to turn into winter melons. They do heavy damage in slow groups of zombies. Right here, these are cob cannons, which you plant on your kernel pulps to turn them into cob cannons. Press A on a cob can to launch a deadly attack. Right here you have a very interesting plant, which is actually not something you plant on another plant, but instead is, it is an imitator, which lets you have two of the same plant during a level. Right here we have an upgrade for walnut specific plants. Basically walnuts, uh, tall nuts, and pumpkins. Uh, it's called Walnut First Aid. It lets you plant fresh new walnuts over damaged ones. Works for tall nuts and pumpkins too, like I just said. Now for Zen Garden stuff. Um, these are just basically marigold sprouts. Uh, we have the golden watering can right here, which lets you water four plants in an area instead of one. Uh, this is just mulch or fertilizer, same thing, uh, I guess. And then here we have a bug spray. So Zen Garden plants require bug spray from time to time. It keeps them happy for an entire day. We'll go over our happiness in the Zen Garden later. This phonograph lets you play music for your Zen Garden plants. It keeps them happy for an entire day. And then we got different gardens. This mushroom garden is a place you can keep your Zen Garden plants that fall asleep during the day because they still fall asleep in your regular Zen Garden. Then we got the Aquarium Garden, which is a place you can keep your aquatic plants. Um, this will be coming soon. Uh, then we got Stinky the Snail, which helps you pick up coins in Zen Garden. And then we have the Tree of Wisdom, which will tell you valuable tips and secrets if you grow it tall enough. Well, that's everything that we can buy in the Zen Garden. Or in Crazy Dave's Tweet Yankees for now. I could buy some of these, but I don't really need to. Anyway, on to the episode. Hello guys, Creator 438 here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we showed off some mini games. Namely, Zombotany, Walnut Bowling, and Slot Machine. So this time we're going to be doing some more mini games. And we'll do this one right here, called Heavy Weapon. So this is a pretty interesting mini game. Basically, uh, what you do is, you don't actually, well, actually you do plant plants, never mind. Well, actually, no, you don't. You ha control a lawnmower that you move with L and fire with um, the right stick. Uh, I think you just let sun touch your lawnmower. Yeah, you just let sun touch your lawnmower and you get it. So basically, you move this lawnmower around and you shoot zombies with it. And you attack them like this instead of actually planting plants. Now I know I said that you can plant um, plants in this one, but you actually can't. Uh, what that repeater and all those other plants mean is basically upgrades for um, your thing, your lawnmower. I can spend sun and now I get two shots from my um, lawnmower instead. So yeah, those are basically upgrades that you can use to basically get various effects for uh, your lawnmower. You also get Doom Shrooms as well, which basically just nukes a field. It doesn't actually plant Doom Shroom, but yeah. That's basically the gist of this one, is you're just kind of using this thing to fire the zombies. I gotta kill that guy before he gets... Oh, he's gonna get... Oh, no he's not. GG. Alright, he's kind of useless that, um, the freaking pole vaulter zombie. Wow. You can tell I haven't played this game in a while because honestly I haven't really, so. Well, okay, I've gone over this mini game. So now we can talk about some things. So, if you haven't guessed, which it's okay if you haven't, but if you haven't, uh, it's been a while since I've recorded. Um, last thing I recorded, like, ever was Link to the Past. That was, like, early December, I think. Um, so, the day I'm recording this is February... 
February 7th, which is a Sunday on 1.29 at 1.29 in the morning. I'm on February break, which is cool. Uh, I can I finished my mid my midterm exams, so that happened. Christmas happened, which was cool. I got um, actually not as much as I thought I was going to get because I didn't get Xenoblade Chronicles X, which I asked for, but didn't get that, which is okay because I can just I can always just go to GameStop and get that anyway, so it's not an issue. What I did not get is my new computer, which I was expecting but did not receive, unfortunately. Oh. I don't know what the game takes. Okay, that canceled it completely, and that's gone. I want for I want freezing things. Um. So yeah, I did not get my new computer, which I was a little annoyed about, but that's okay, I guess. Hopefully, I get it soon. If not in the summer. Um. What I did get though. Um, was a, a capture card, uh, which my older brother actually recommended that I get, and I, I have not, the reason I'm not putting it to use yet is because I still currently have, like, kind of a bad computer. It's not really bad, but it's old, so I don't really want to use that with the, the game capture device I have. It is an Elgato game capture, so... That should be cool. Um, I'll actually be giving you guys quality, <laughs> quality freaking videos, I guess. I mean, if you define quality as not having very good video quality, then you'll get that, so cool for you guys. And for me, because I think it'll be a lot better for the channel. And I think you guys would just prefer it. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, you don't really want to watch, like, um, videos recorded on camera. If it's for, like, um, if it's for, like, gaming, you don't really want to do that. Just cause. But yeah, like, I'll finally be able to bring you guys videos that are recorded with quality capturing. With quality video capture. However you want to say it. I will not let you get through. Wow, he's gonna get through. Oh, we lose. Well, we get to see what happens when you lose in this game. <laughs> the zombies ate your brains in very booger colored and dripping letters. Alright, I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Okay, I actually decided to play up to the first Gargantuar, and I'm not finding him. And I'm almost to the second flag, so... I should say the third wave. I probably should have spent that on a Doom Shroom. Something that mattered, you know. Once he unfreezes, I guess I can... Okay, he's dead. There we go. All that matters now. I'll get the coin. You want to make sure you're getting any co as many coins as possible. Okay, the first Gargantua is actually here, so... Oh, there's two now. I guess it's random. Which is kind of weird. Makes you think, like, maybe they randomize the zombies that they send, but reasonably. So in Plants vs. Zombies 2, they're not really randomized. Oh wow, we found a plant for a Zen Garden and immediately killed that imp. Wow, there's three now. Holy shit. I kinda, I kinda have to nuke the board. That's gotta be my next move. There's those zombies at the top. I did lose my second lawnmower, as you can plainly see. So... It's not really good if, okay, well, he's dead. Maybe if I can just take those guys out. They aren't football zombies, so. Okay, well. 
They're gonna wreck us if we don't take him out, so. Oh wow, he fell into it. Well, he walked into it, actually, he didn't fall into it. Because he's not falling. He's walking on a flat surface. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see, okay, that's the football zombie I actually lost to last time. I'm gonna use this. Dude, if I fucking lose again. Wow, I'm gonna lose again, I don't know. Yep, totally, wow, shit. I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully third time's the charm is gonna be a thing here. Uh, I decided this time that I would just save up sun for a doom shroom, just in case I was in a tight spot. I actually have all my lawn noise this time, so we ain't gonna have any of that bullshit. But yeah, if I can make one recommendation about Slalo, is just like saving up sun for a doom shroom. If you're in a, if you're finding yourself as unlucky as me, if you have a lot of sun though, you can by all means use the fire. And wow, that man did not even use his imp. GG. And you know what, I realized it's actually better to miss out on some sun than just like getting screwed over. Because, yeah, you don't want to lose, obviously. So, you guys may have noticed, um, like the little tail on this thing. That was like shooting thorns. That's like the, that's the cattail power up. Uh, it targets it's like a homing attack that targets zombies. It's similar to homing thistle and plants for zombies too, or the, except um, the difference with homing thistle is that it targets certain zombies, only the ones that are, only the one that's cl closest to your house. But I don't know what dictates it in this game. Like for cattail, because like I think like if a balloon zombie is on the field, um, it targets. Like, that's its, like, priority target at that point, but I don't really know. So we almost have this level done. It's taking up the majority of the episode, I think. Wait, kill him. Thank you. We got the final wave now. And I think when everything gets on screen, or when I think everything gets on screen, I'm just going to nuke the board because at this point... Yeah. Okay, so like here. There's really no reason not to. It leaves a random crater for some reason. I guess because they want to simulate the fact that Doom Shroom was here. But this man's gonna die, and we get a gem for that. Also, I forgot to mention every time you get a um, every time you get one of these trophies for the first time, you always get a diamond, which is pretty cool. So we unlocked a new mini game. We unlocked Seeing Stars, which is actually not one of my favorites. Oh, next one is actually one that's very interesting. It's called Be Gould. Interesting thing about this minigame, well, I'll get into that a little later. Let's get into the main gimmick first. So, hold X and move plants to make match to three. So basically, any your standard match three game, uh, you can save up sun to upgrade, save sun to upgrade your plants. Um, basically, your standard match three game here, we gotta make 75 matches to pass. Um, if you played match threes, you know, Candy Crush, um, fuck, Cookie Jam, um, cause that's one I've played, um, hell, even Pokemon Shuffle, although it's not exactly the same, it is a match three, and this is basically just a match three in Plants vs. Zombies, which is kinda cool, we gotta make, um, also, chain reactions will give you more sun, so you want to do that. Um, so we can also spend, um, you can also use our sun to get, to upgrade our plants. Like here we can upgrade our puff shrooms and make them fume shrooms. We can upgrade our wants and make them taunts, and we can upgrade our pea shooters and make them repeaters. Um, so, interesting thing about this minigame, it actually came back in uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2 recently. Um, they recently released um, The Last World in Plants vs. Zombies 2, which is called Modern Day. And this is actually like the main minigame of that, of that world, which is kind of cool. 
I'm glad they brought Be Gould back because it's one of my more favorite mini games. They add a lot of elements to that game that very well fit the mood of Plants vs. Zombies too. You know, with like power ups, I mean. So actually what might happen is, if a zombie will eat my plant, which I don't really want it to, but just in case it does, um, we'll see something interesting happen. I'm going to upgrade my wants, make them tall nuts. Um, when you don't have any matches, the game will give you, well, the game will reset your board, uh, so you can make new matches. Also, if you take too long to find out what matches you can make, the game will uh, kind of give you a hint in that regard. I'm just seeing like everything though. It's kind of amazing. Because I'm not the best match 3 player. Or, I'm not the best match... We'll just go with match 3 player at that point. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just seeing all these matches right now. Not to brag, of course. It's just the truth. That sounded bragging it. That sounded like I was bragging anyway. That didn't help. Oh wow, that chain link. Chain reaction, I mean. This ain't Yu-Gi-Oh. No possible moves. Uh, I think they actually, wait, do they want me to reset? Oh, no, never mind, they do it for me. You also, if you can't find any moves to make, you can also pay a hundred, a hundred sun to reset your moves. In Plants vs. Zombies 2, it's a little more jerk, because you actually have to spend coins to reset your moves. Or to reset the board, not moves, but just the board in general. No possible moves? Wow. Oh, they were going to do it for me. Wow, I'm an idiot. It's okay, though, we're fine. We actually have 63 matches. You guys probably can't see the numbers. I don't think using my Elgato game capture really help in that regard, though, because honestly, like, those numbers are very blurry and very small. I can barely even see the dang things myself. But my eyes are powerful enough to make them out. I ain't no old man, so... Five matches to go. So let's see. Uh, what can we do? Okay, I've stopped. My wisdom has stopped. My wisdom, right now. I mean, like my um, my matching ability. Oh, there we go. Um, uh, where is an oh magnetrooms? Right there. And oh, Zen Garden plant. Uh, there's one more. They're gonna have to show me this last one, aren't they? Oh, no, never mind, they won't. There we go. So, actually, I'm going to mention this now because I don't remember if Begooled 2 is in this game, but there is a Begooled 2, I think, like, the iPad version. Or, actually, wait, because I think every version of Plants vs. Zombies, like, every mobile version, like, is now updated so that, like, they all have the same shit, but I don't even remember. I could be wrong on that, though, but... I know the iPad version definitely has a Beagled too. So yeah, um, I'm I'm just gonna mention this right now because I don't think Beagled Two is in this game, but there is a sequel to this uh, mini game. So um, if I were to let a zombie eat one of my plants, it would actually make a crater. You know, like how a Doom Shroom creates a crater. Um, I would I would have to. That would make it so I couldn't put any plants there, and I would have to use a, um, I'd have to spend sun to fill in the gap. So yeah, uh, we unlocked Zombie Aquarium from that. That's an interesting minigame. Oh, we'll be going over that in a little bit. Um, I think this might be the last minigame. Um, this is Invisigool. Where all the zombies are invisible. They want you to think you're not fighting anything, but you actually are. But then again, I guess, you know, you'd kind of be expecting at that point. The zombies come immediately. Oh, I forgot they give you ice shrooms, so you're not completely left in the dark. Also, if you're playing the Xbox Live version like I am, you can also see the zombies rustling in the bushes before they actually come out. They yeah, freeze pretty quickly, though. Know? However, what the game, what, not the game, sorry, the, um, 
what the ice streams will not tell you is what zombies are actually, um, what zombies are what zombies. So, like, I can't tell if this is, like, a cone head right now or a regular zombie. Though you can see their head, I mean, you can see their body parts fall off, you know, like, their arms and whatnot. Alright, um... See, you're pulling a loop out right there. I actually forgot this minigame was in the game. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And I forgot seeing stars is in the game. That's another one I forgot about. Oh, actually, you can tell if you listen to the noise that, um, it makes when you're attacking the, um, or when your pea shooters, or plants in general, are attacking the zombies. But I think you only get pea shooters in this level. Oh, and there's a bucket head right here. I guess we'll crush him. We currently have no pool coverage, which isn't really good. <laughs> but we'll get, we'll get working on that. We got another ice shoom. I think I'll save him. I'm not really in dire need to... Um, see the zombies. Now, I gotta say, just like some commentary about this um, level. Um... Your plants, remember how I said that, like, your plants must be smart as hell? Or I guess really at that point just have such good vision to the point where they can see zombies in the fog? The fact that they can see invisible zombies is pretty fucking clutch when you think about it. Please excuse my French, but you gotta understand, man. Like, they're seeing invisible zombies. I can't see these motherfuckers right now, but my plants can. Like, holy shit. Obviously something is up with these plants, because, like, the fact that they can see invisible zombies is just crazy. Okay, I forgot that squash doesn't really work well for hitting zombies in the back. You gotta be pretty close if you want to hit them in the back. Okay, I guess I'll plant a curl You know what, actually, this is clearly a bucket head, so I'm gonna crush his ass. I'm going to use walnut repair, or not, because I haven't bought the thing yet. <laughs> I forgot that I didn't actually buy the power-up. But it's very good, you want to pick up walnut repair. Don't listen to Kuva Kung Fu when he says that walnut repair is not good. I don't know what, I don't remember what asinine reason Kuva Kung Fu gave for saying that walnut repair is bad, because it is not bad, it is so good. Or is it walnut? No, it's walnut first aid and plants for zombies too. See, so squash has to be like on the same tile as the zombie, pretty much. If you want them to squish them from behind. Oh fuck, we got we got zombonies. The thing about zombonies is you can't actually freeze them. Yeah, see. That is not what I meant to put down. That is gonna spawn bobsled. That's gonna spawn bobsled teams, isn't it? Yep, there they come. Oh wait, no, never mind. Regular zombie. Wow, that's dumb. There's like a little sliver of that. Frickin' squares, like, blocked, so I can't do it. Oh, it just went away. No, no bobsled team at all. Wow. I guess they don't spawn an invisible. I'm not really sure why this minigame is called invisible, because, you know, it's not ghouls, it's zombies, or whatever. They're not really the same thing, but... What, 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 what does it even matter at this point? <laughs> okay, there's a man here. He is kind of bodying our plants, but we bodied him, so it's okay. Alright, and there's a bucket head doing work right now. We kind of need a squash. It's okay, though, he's dead, actually. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Koopa Kung Fu is wrong when he says that walnut repair is bad because walnut repair is actually one of the is actually like wait no there aren't other abilities in this game 
Yeah, it's the only ability in the game, but it's like the best ability in the game when you look at it that way, because what Walnut Repair basically allows you to do, I think the reason he gave for like Walnut Repair being bad is like, you don't have to wait for Walnuts to, like it's, like you can just like get the same effects of like repairing a Walnut by like waiting for, waiting for it to be eaten and then it gets, um, and then it's all good, because then, like, the zombies will still have to eat that walnut anyway. That is actually, like, the worst reason for saying that that ability is bad. Walnut Repair, what it allows you to do is it basically allows for you to not wait. The point is you don't want to wait to repair your walnuts. You want to do it immediately. You want to, when a walnut gets eaten, you want to repair it as quickly as physically possible. And that's what Walnut Repair allows you to do. It lets you repair your walnuts quicker than what you can normally do it at. Or quicker than the pace that you can normally do so at. And that's what makes it powerful. The fact that you can repair your walnuts quicker than you would normally be able to. That makes it such a versatile ability. So I really don't understand what Koopa Kung Fu is going on about. Um, Maybe you give another reason I just, I'm actually, like, not remembering. But I think that's the reason he gave. And if so, it's not a good one. Because that is not by no means correct. Walnut Repair is not a bad ability by any means. And it's actually one of the better abilities in Plants vs. Zombies, too. Like, definitely. There aren't a lot of abilities in that one, either, but... They have more in that game than they do in this one, so... I mean... Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a bucket head here. Hey, we got the thing off because he was close enough. I wanna kill this man. That's a bucket head, really? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, fuck, there's another one, too? Jeez, how many zombies are here? Fuck, you know. Um, yeah, we'll find a few shooter there just to do some more damage. Probably not necessary, but... I want to see if I can butter, um... And, okay, never mind, that doesn't stop him. Alright, squash this man. And, yeah, they're dead. Unless there are more zombies coming here, but I don't see... I don't think they are. There are any. Okay, no, I think we're good. Oh, never mind, we're not good. Yep, we're not good. <laughs> Come on, we need another thing. Wow, that was lucky as hell. But there's still more? Holy shit, dude. We need another squash. Uh, I can't give it to us. Oh, well. Well, now that's gonna happen. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, well that's definitely gonna be the last one in this one, boys. So, I think we're gonna end it off here. Next time on Plants vs. Zombies 2, man, we're gonna be playing some more minigames. We got Seeing Star... Oh, it's Begooled Twist. Uh, I guess that is Begooled 2, if you look at it that way. Anyway, though, uh, next time we're gonna be playing... Three more mini games. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.